Kinook 42 is a sister tri of Kinook 24. 24, 42. So Kinook 24 is actually selecting the patient of PDR1 expression 50% or more and prime endpoint of progression free survival. Kinook 42 is a similar design, however, we select the patient over 1% and using over survival as a primary endpoint. Now, the importance of Kinook 42 is number one, it would support the efficacy of the patient over 50%. And second is to say, how about if we use 1% as a cutoff, are we going to observe an over survival benefit? So those are the major difference about the these two study. So in this randomized study, we you know, actually compared the patient with over 1% expression, single agent pembrolizumab versus standard chemotherapy. We were actually able to demonstrate that over survival benefit when we look at using cutoff at 1%, 20% of the 50%. Now the 50% uh, subgroup of patient the advantage is actually uh, similar with a very nice hazard ratio, although the median is not as impressive as what we observed in 024. In the same time, we also uh, you know, find that there is an improvement in the over 20% cutoff and the over 1% cutoff. But then, speaking of that, we also perform an exploratory analysis looking at a subgroup of 1 to 49%. So for, with this one, we did not observe any over survival benefit. So in other words, whether you use 1% or 20%, the benefit is mostly driven by the 50% subgroup. Now it comes to the question is that, can we use single agent pembrolizumab in the 1 to 49 subgroup as a first line? Now in this study that we actually did not show any superiority, but then there is some advantage in terms of toxicity. So I would not promote you know, to replace uh, chemotherapy with the uh, single agent pembrolizumab, and especially there are data from Keynote 189 demonstrating the combination of chemo with pembrolizumab is actually superior to chemotherapy. So this group uh, probably can be considered the utilization of a Keynote 189 regimen. But on the other hand, there are some patients who are physically not capable of receiving chemotherapy. But this group of patients, then I think we can consider the single agent use as per 042. So I think that is pretty well give you a capsule of what we have learned from this important randomized study. As a matter of fact, uh, this has just been published by EPUB in Lancet uh, just about last week. Mm -hmm.